So for conversion therapy today, I have a very special patient. Her name is Farron. Come on in, Farron. Look, look at her, folks. She's very sick. What is this mystery ingredient that you've brought me today for conversion therapy? It's lamb. I am offended. I love lamb. It is so delicious. It is not. What do you not like about the lamb? Have you ever been to like a farm? I have. That's what it tastes Many like. Many field trips. In all fairness to Farron, the very first time I had lamb chops when I was a kid, I told my mom the exact same thing, but my conversion therapy program is very foolproof. So I'm gonna make a believer out of you today. Are you trusting, open? I'm trusting Are you, you. willing? I'm putting, you can I'm put, putting this and this in your hands. You can put all your trust, all of this and all of this in, in me. I have yet to have a lamb that I liked, but if this man thinks that he can do it, uh, more power to you. I get what she's saying, but she will be. <laughs> so we're about to get started on our Bidia tacos. Say it with me, guys. Bidia, not birria or barrio or whatever it is that you guys are butchering it into. It's just Bidia. So we got three different types of chilies that we're gonna start our sauce with. We have some mulattoes, we have some guajillos, and we have some California chilies. All of them are dry, so we're just gonna de-seed and de-stem them now. Very simple. I know you guys have seen these in the grocery store. They come in those clear packs and they're only a dollar, but these things pack a lot of flavor. And after you guys see this demo, you're gonna wanna make your own sauce from scratch moving forward. So all you're gonna do, rip off the stem on the top. You have a little bowl there. And stick your finger in there. And then just kind of pat out the seeds. That's all you need to do. Just pat out the seeds and the stem. There's a couple left in there. No harm, no foul. Rinse, wash, repeat for our wajillos, our mulattoes, and our California chilies. We have our de-seeded, de-stemmed chilies here. So we're gonna pour some boiling hot water in our bowl here, all right? So I'm just gonna use the top of my cutting board and we're gonna let that steep for about 20 minutes. They're gonna get reconstituted. They're gonna be ready for the blender. And it's been about 20 minutes. Our chilies are nice and beautiful and reconstitute it. I'm gonna take some tongs here, you see this? They're perfect. So I am going to open up the lid of our blender. I'm just gonna place these in here one or five at a time. Don't worry about trying to get all the excess water out because this chili water, if you see this beautiful color that we have here, we're gonna end up using this for the sauce. We wanna save this, we don't wanna put it off to the side, we're gonna save that, we're gonna use it. So we're gonna add six garlic cloves, a half a tablespoon of sugar, because we have a lot of salty, warm, really bold flavors going in this, so we wanna give it a little bit of balance with the sugar. We're gonna follow that sugar up with some salt, and then I'm gonna add some tomato paste, and then I'm gonna add a pinch of Mexican cinnamon, doesn't have to be Mexican cinnamon, you can use regular cinnamon, but a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need very much. That's more than enough. And we're gonna add some cumin. We're gonna follow that up with some Roma tomatoes. And then we have a whole white onion here. And just when you guys think we didn't have any more space in our blender left, you thought. We're gonna add about a half a cup of cilantro. And then we're gonna add a quarter cup of fresh oregano. Because we're blending this up and we're braising it, you guys don't really have to worry about the oregano stem. So finally, our last step, because we got a full blender here, we are going to do this in phases, but we're gonna add our chili water to the blender. Okay, place our lid on top. Texture check. It's more like a blended salsa. I want it a little more smooth. Okay, perfect smooth temperature. I'm just gonna take this off and set it to the side. And then we're gonna get started on our lamb portion of our Bidia tacos. So we've got our Bidia sauce here. Now we're gonna get started on our lamb portion of this program in conversion. So we've cut this leg of lamb into two to three inch cubes. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna end up shredding it all at the very end. And I trimmed off some of the fat, but not all of it, because that fat equals flavor. I'm just gonna dump this all on my sheet pan and make one even layer here. This is really straightforward. All we wanna do 
It season us very simply with salt and pepper. You can be as generous as you want, because we're gonna, like I said, braise these up, so we're gonna lose some of this salt. So be as generous as you want to. And then we're gonna add some pepper, freshly cracked black pepper, and then we're just gonna flip these and do the other sides and just make sure they're evenly, nicely coated and seasoned. So they're very flavorful. And I convert another patient. You know, my business keeps thriving and BuzzFeed pays me more. They're gonna edit the out of that and we are ready to go. My Dutch oven is nice and hot, so I'm gonna add a nice layer of olive oil to the bottom of my pan. And as always, we do not wanna overcrowd. We're gonna do this in maybe two or three batches. That's the sound we wanna hear. A nice sizzle. Okay, so we're gonna let these lamb pieces sear on each side until they're nice and crispy golden brown. Three to four minutes each side. What that's gonna do is lock in all of that seasoning that we just blessed it with. It's gonna make it nice and tender and juicy when it comes out of the oven with our bidia sauce. It's gonna be nice and tender and pull apart. That's why you don't wanna skip this step. Okay, let's give these a little check. All right, so this is the level of crispy, golden, fatty, just unctuousness that we want. So it's time to give these a flip. All right, so we've got all of our lamb pieces seared off. I'm gonna turn our heat off. I'm gonna just slowly add our sauce, and that's cooling us down. It's nice and quiet now, guys. So we wanna make sure that our lamb pieces are fully covered, because as our lamb continues to braise down, continues to cook down, the sauce is also gonna reduce. So you wanna check it after the first hour, every 30 minutes, just to make sure you have enough braising liquid or the video sauce in here so it doesn't dry out. So I am going to replace our lid, take my towels, and I'm going to place this in the oven at 350 for three hours. Our lamb has been in the oven for three hours, nice and hot. It smells amazing. If you're mad at me right now, you should be. So while this is still hot and tender, I'm gonna take a slotted spoon and start to ladle our braised lamb into our bowl here. This smells so good. Okay. So our next step is we're just gonna take two, two forks and because this is fork tender, you're just gonna take your fork and start to break this apart and shred it. And we have this super fork tender, just deliciousness going on in this bowl right now. Okay. Alrighty, so we've got our shredded lamb here. Then I'm gonna take our mixing bowl and our fine mesh sieve here, along with some towels because this pot is still very hot and I'm not going to burn myself. Take this, and then we wanna just strain the sauce with the fine mesh sieve. And I see a chunk of lamb. With that slotted spoon, you wanna just kinda help the sauce along through the fine mesh sieve because all of the good bits in there, the chilies, the leftover seeds, the little pieces of lamb that we still have left, those are gonna flow to the bottom. So just kind of move it through so you get just the sauce itself. So this takes a little bit of work, a little bit of patience, but you see we've separated the consomme, which is what this portion of the sauce is now called now that it's been braised off, it's been cooked. So this stuff is still good. You can re-add this to, uh, to the lamb to make it more flavorful. You can toss it, you can do whatever you want with it. But we have our braised lamb here and we have our consomme. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then we're gonna reset and move on to the taco portion. Birdman hand rub, because it's time to make these tacos. With the consomme that we just strained, you're going to have a layer of fat at the top. And if you have a little bit of time, you can put the consomme in the fridge or you can just let it sit for a while and the fat will rise to the top. So the fat portion, that's the lamb fat that got braised off, that's the olive oil that we used, all mixed together. We wanna separate that and skim that off the top, but not throw it away, we're going to use it. So we're gonna place our tortillas in the fatty part of our consomme. We're gonna dip and roll and dip again. And then we're gonna place it on our hot pan. 
next, we're gonna fry the one side of it for about a minute. And then we're gonna flip it over. And this is where the magic starts, y'all. We're gonna take this tender braised lamb that we prepared earlier. I'm gonna place this in our taco. If you get a little bit of spillage, it's okay. They're supposed to be messy, they're supposed to be fun, they're supposed to be flavorful. We're gonna follow that up with some jack cheese. And we're gonna do some diced red onion. And I am someone that does not possess the gene that makes cilantro taste like soap. I love this stuff, like absolutely love it. So I pile it on my food. Put a little cilantro in here. And then I'm gonna take my tongs. Ooh, it's a big boy. So we're gonna fry one side of it and then we're gonna flip it over. And once everything is crispy and melty and all warm through, we're gonna rinse, wash, repeat until we have a whole boatload of tacos for Farron to fall in love with and eat her words about not liking lamb because who doesn't like lamb? Farron, yeah. are you ready? for your lamb bitty of tacos. I'm ready. I want you to eat these tacos and then eat your words. Are you ready? So there are three bitty of tacos here. Mm -hmm. um, they're stacked, they're delicious, they're very fragrant. You dip in the consomme for even more saucy flavor. Yep. Let's have it. I will say though, it smells really good in here. Okay. So that is a plus. Smell is right? actually half the battle. That's half the battle. Yeah. Does not smell like a farm. It smells very good. Okay. All right. All right, all right. Oh. I'm in. Really? I mean, okay, hold on. It's not bad, right? But I can definitely taste that lamb in there. Really? Definitely. But if it makes you feel any better, this is probably the best lamb that I've ever had. <laughs> I'll take it. I will take that compliment. Okay, so could not rid uh, the lamb birria tacos of all of the lamb flavors, but she did not spit it out. Did she did out. say it is not bad because she does not like lamb, so it's not bad. She tastes some potential in there. Mm -hmm. So I would say we need to do maybe a couple more conversion sessions. And you know what I would say? I would say take that? the lamb out, and then I think it would be great. Okay, but thank you guys for joining us. Join us next time for Conversion Therapy.